Now, if we're looking back at our mock here, we're going to start saying, well, there, there are some things that aren't the same. Bootstrap isn't making using this nice font here. Uh, there's not light gray. What we've done so far is we've gone through and we've done what Bootstrap can do natively. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply our own styles on top of that and make the page look a little a little nicer. Okay, so one of the first things that we'll notice is that the font that we have in the mock here is not the same as the font that we're getting uh, sort of by default. One of the great things that Google provides is Google Fonts. So I've found a font that is similar to the one that we have in the mock. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And what we're going to do is we're going to select we have a very thin version of it up here in the in the name and a sort of thicker a higher weight version of it uh, in the rest of the page. So what we need is two font weights. Font weights are how thick or thin a font is. And for this project, I'm going to be using the thin and the light for those two situations I just pointed out. Google Fonts may look slightly different when you use it. They change it from time to time, but the general concept is you're going to select your font. In this case, I've picked Lato. Or Lato. Um, and we're going to then select what weight we want to use, the characters. In this case, we're just going to use the Latin character set. If you use the Latin extended, if you need um, accents and things like that that aren't in the normal Latin set. And we come down here, and Google will have provided us with a handy little piece of HTML that will link this font with these weights into our page. So we go back and we're going to put that up in the in the head. And that will make sure that we have that font uh, loaded and, and ready to go. But just loading it into the page isn't going to do anything. We actually have to make a style that can use it um, and that tells our page to use it. So what we're going to do next is that we're, we're basically just going to make a styles.css. And this will contain all of our personal styles. So we've used bootstrap styles already. And we'll make our own styles.css. So in the same way that we loaded Bootstrap in, we're going to load in our own styles. And we're going to put them below Bootstrap. Remember that CSS is applied in the order that it shows up, all things being equal. So if we want to have our styles not be overwritten by similar styles in Bootstrap, we're going to put our styles last in this list. So in our styles.css, we're going to add a body selector. So this will target the whole HTML body. And what we're going to do then is if we go back to Google Fonts, they'll actually have provided how to integrate it into our CSS. So it'll give us this font family. And we're going to put that right into our CSS. And that's going to say to the browser, use this font if possible. If not, fall back to a, just a whatever sensor font you have lying around. So now if we go back to our page and refresh, there we go. So now we're now we're using that new font. We're starting to look a little bit better, a little bit closer to our to our mock, and we can go on from there. One of the things looking at the mock is that we have some other colors in here. It looks like instead of being sort of the dark gray or black that is the default in Bootstrap, our designer has given us a color for, for all of the text on this page. So we're going to go back and we're going to add that to the body as well. Now this is just the default color. We can overwrite it at any time, but this is, in general, the text on our site, we're going to give this color. One of the other things is that because I'm loading in these two different weights, the thin and the thick, I'm going to make sure that my style actually calls that out and says, as the, as the default, we're going to use this slightly um, thick one, the 300 weight. And so we'll put that right back in this, in this body tag too. So looking at our at our code here. The colors have now changed to the one we, we just set, and we know for sure we're using the right, the right weight. 
looking at our mock, we have a few other text sort of effects that, that I'm seeing here. One of them is this featured work is in a muted color. And one of them is that the Jane Doe here at the very top, this title is thinner than, than the other sort of headings that we have on the page. So let's write some rules that'll, that'll help us with that. Bootstrap, as I mentioned before, has a whole bunch of text helpers like text uppercase, text right, those sorts of things. So we're going to make our own and we'll just add to that collection. We'll make a text muted. And that'll change the color of any text. We uh, put that on to be a little bit more muted, a little gray. And we'll also make a text thin. And that'll use that thinner version of the font that we've, that we've also loaded in. Just making these classes isn't going to change the way that the HTML looks, that it, that it displays on our page. So now we have to go back to the HTML and add these classes in where we, where we want them. So I'm thinking we'll put the text thin on the name. And let's find that featured work. Here we go. All right, so we reload our page here, and now you can see Jane Doe it is the thin text that we're looking for, and featured work has turned gray. So it's coming along here, but we've still got a few more things to kind of polish up and we'll start to work on. One of them is that the logo here seems to be off a little bit, and we'd like to give it some, some room on the top. And another is that the name, this Jane Doe, this title, uh, this sort of super title up here is, is much bigger than anything else on the page. So we're going to try and bump that up in, in size. So again, in our HTML, let's put in some classes so that we can actually hook onto that with our, with our CSS and target the right things. So one of the things we wanted to target was that Jane Doe it, that top heading there. So we'll make this, we'll give this like a title super. So this is the, the, the biggest title, the biggest title there is. And uh, it's at the top of the page and the, the biggest thing we have. And then we also wanted to target that logo. So let's call that so that things are similar, title logo. So that's the logo that's in that title space, and this is the super text that's in that. OK, so now we have that in HTML. Let's go stick some CSS to it. As a general note, I generally organize my CSS files when I'm on smaller projects like this in, we'll do like the body first, the very basic, the resets, those sorts of things. General classes, classes that get used a lot, and then more specific classes further down the down the file. And for small things like this, it works it works great. And it'll let you know in your head sort of where to look in the file when you're looking to change something. So for that super title, let's give it a crank it up to 60 pixels to start with here. And then we'll target the title logo. Give it a bit of a margin and push it down to there. So now when we refresh our page, that Jane Doe is nice and big. The logo is nice and in line. We're starting to look a lot, a lot closer to what, uh, what we're going for in our mock here. So as I'm looking at our mock, I've actually noticed something that I missed the first time. And this happens. You, you basically go through your design, and you're checking it side for side with your, with your mock or your image, and you'll notice something that you missed the first time. And it's an iterative process. As you do it more, you'll 
miss fewer things the first pass through. But what I've noticed is that I don't think that my text at the bottom of these is centered. So we'll actually jump back in. You can see down here on, in the featured work section, these are all left aligned. And actually, as it turns out, everything in this entire section here is text centered. So what we can do is add that. Remember, Bootstrap had that text centered class. We're going to actually add it to the parent of all of these, and it'll apply to everything. And there we go. So now everything is that sort of centered text. And we're starting to get closer and closer to how our mock looks. Now, I'm going to call it here for now because this has gone pretty long. But you can keep going. You can say, hey, this HR, this, this horizontal rule here is not thick enough. Hey, there's not, it's not quite as uh, bold as I wanted on these, on these titles. You can keep going and keep going closer and closer to the mock that you're trying for. At a certain point, you'll just have to call it a day. And that's OK. Getting a web page to look exactly like the mock that was done in Photoshop or wherever it came from is tremendously hard and very time consuming for the last couple percent. So getting to a good place and saying, hey, this looks good. I, I feel good about this web page. I think people can, can use it. Uh, if you're working with a designer, getting their thoughts on that as well is definitely a worthwhile activity. And um, wrapping it up and saying, okay, I think we're I think we're good here. So I'm going to leave this uh, as it is for right now, and I think we'll. Ugh. So I'm going to do that right here, and just say, hey, we're we're good enough for right now. Uh, if we wanted to do more work on it, we absolutely could. But we've got a, a good-looking website here with a lot of little puppies, and you know, I'm a I'm a happy camper. One of the things we get from using Bootstrap is something like this, where if we look at our website, and I've scaled my browser down to be you know, similar to a, to a mobile device, we actually get a, a nice layout. All of our little featured work has gone into a line here. It's readable. And we can actually see it on a, on a mobile device. Now, we didn't do any work to make this happen, which is really impressive. And we definitely could do a few more things here to make this look better for our mobile friends, but it's a great starting place and we didn't we didn't have to worry about it at all.